Finding good quality medieval reenactment equipment can be really hard these days. There aren't a whole lot of shops in Australia and buying online can be so hit and miss. I know from personal experience how tempting it can be to go for cheaper stuff and sometimes you get very disappointed with the product. Okay guys, today we're going to have a look at the medieval shop Frankia Axe. That's this one right here. I actually quite like this. I've been looking for some axes for my re medieval reenactment activities and um, some of the tools and the weapons that uh, I, I can use not only for myself but also with my kids and my family and friends. So I've been investing my own money in um, uh, looking around it and finding some really good pieces of kit and, and this is honestly this is one of them. So let's take a bit of a look at it. Uh, $71 I don't think that's too unrealistic for a, a, a good piece of kit. Uh, you can see here if we look at the profile of the handle it's a nice teardrop shape that makes it um, very easy to understand exactly where your axe is and where the head uh, is um, so that um, you're a lot safer and also when you're um, when you're fighting in a shield wall that kind of thing you, um, you you're not going to be hitting sort of side on or whatever uh, I, I like that a lot the um, the actual axe head itself is 21 centimeters deep it weighs 811 grams I'm not sure what that is in Imperial sorry so not I don't know how many pounds and ounces if you know please leave it in a, uh, a comment below um, and the handle itself is 51 centimeters long alrighty so from a functionality point of view uh, I, I do really like this. It's, it's not too heavy. It's not too unwieldy. It's not, um, you know, hard work to use it at all. It's, it's simple. Uh, this is a good solid weapon. Um, I think it's very price effective. Um, it's, it's not the axe of Hollywood. This is not the axe of the, the films and TV series. This is based on uh, historical finds and this is a good modern reproduction of something like that. Um, in real times this would have been made from bog iron um, and I'll do a video on what bog iron is but you can see here this would have this is a very realistic piece and this would not have simply been limited to Vikings or that kind of period of history between the 8th and sort of you know 11th centuries you can see in iconography that axes go way way back in history you know right through the way past the Roman period and they come right through into uh, the later parts of the Renaissance period and so on because it's a very simple, very cheap, very effective weapon uh, and it's it's not hard to use uh, and it's something that you can get a lot of use out of whether it's in, in encampment or whatever where you're making fences, whether you're using it as a hammer whether you're using it to butcher animals, whether you're using it to um, craft wood and so on you know an axe is just a, a great piece of kit to have uh, and it's something that really looks and stands out on your costume if, if that's what you're looking for so I really do like this um, I, I give this a 7 out of 10 um, in terms of improvement I do think the, the handle could have been a bit longer and maybe they could have done some detailing or at least left that as an option to do some detailing in the axe head itself because I, I do like that and I have seen you know um, historical examples of axes that are, are nicely detailed with carvings and so on um, however this is a really good piece of kit and I really do like it so there you go guys um, hope you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video